Mark Rackley is a professional cameraman. Since boyhood, he has been fascinated by Southern Florida's most deadly underwater creatures. I began my career in underwater photography when I was 18 years old. I was a commercial spear fisherman. My brother and I went in on a camera together. We took it out and videoed all of our adventures out in the water. I started filming dangerous animals in the water when I met up with my partner, Manny. We would go out spearfishing and we hunted sharks in the past. And we just realized that hunting sharks was not, you know, the thing to do. We started filming the, the sharks and watching them live, you know, on the, on the screen. We don't wear mesh suits. We don't wear any armor or anything like that in the water. We're like, the only thing that protects me is God and my camera in front of me. In search of more dangerous game and scenes never before captured, Mark enters the black waters of Florida's swamp in pursuit of the even more deadly and unpredictable alligator. Manny introduced me to the swamp because we had dove in the ocean for years and years. It was real eerie. I was kind of nervous at first because you don't know what to expect because the water's black. He would tell me stories about how he caught an alligator underwater, you know, a 12 foot alligator underwater. And I just couldn't believe the stories that he was telling me. So I said, we got to put this on tape. I, I got to see this. So he took me out and we started swimming along. And I'm seeing bass and all these different things. And I see this alligator. We do this thing, it's called mesmerizing an alligator. I mean, he goes up under him with, with his uh, fingers and he lifts up the alligator. I've never seen this done before. It's the first time I've ever got to document this. And after being around alligators so much, we learned this technique. He, he lifts him up by the chin and it's called mesmerizing. And he can actually put an alligator to sleep. The way I mesmerize an alligator has to do with my approach. See, certain movements, certain things I do are aggressive to the alligator, and certain things are not threatening. So I found a way how to approach and handle the alligator without threatening it. And then it'll allow me to mesmerize the alligator, put him in certain positions, in certain motions that'll like temporarily like calm him down. But if I, at any time, if I grab him in the wrong place, or if I threaten him by any movement that I make, it'll cause an explosive reaction on the alligator. I try not to fear, but I do not lose respect for the sharks and alligators. I know what they can do, and they all have different personalities, and move can change at any, any minute. If a gator's gonna come at you on the surface, that's the most dangerous swing. I'm constantly turning around and looking. If you're not watching your back, a gator could just sneak up on you. Searching through the mangroves, Mark and Manny keep a sharp eye out for hidden alligators. Then I see this alligator. I swim up to it, it just pulls his mouth right open at me. And I was freaked. I was looking at it, and I, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, Manny, you know, that, that thing wants to eat you. You know, it was, it was a real dangerous moment. He swam down there as it, right after it his mouth open, he grabbed the hold of it, and he just went for the ride. And I tried to stay with it, and I was like, freaked the water, it was real dirty. He started thrashing, Manny let go. So he went back down at him again, grabbed the hold of him. He finally gets a hold of it. If he lets go now, one of us is going to get hit. You know, either he's going to get bit or I'm going to get bit. The alligator's mad. Once you make him mad, there's no, there's no stop. He let go of the camera to help him because he was getting sucked under. It was like the, the, the gator's spinning and Manny's got a snow going out of his mouth. So he, it's, the gator's sucking him under. Manny can't breathe. So he tells me, I'm just open my mouth. So I go, I let go of the camera and I grab. I, I was looking. What I could see was just like, Thing amazing with this tall foot alligator and it's spinning and it's spinning. So I grabs a hold of my camera because I'm, I guess it's my natural instinct as a cameraman. I grabbed it and wanted to film what was going on. Nearing exhaustion, Manny takes a gamble and releases the alligator. Luckily, the alligator retreats. And a lot 
lot of different situations that I've been in with Manny. You're in fear for your life. It's dangerous, but it's exciting, and the footage that you get is incredible.